Hi, welcome to this uh, new video tutorial. Today I'm going to guide you on how you can build and run your own containers with Portman CLI in VS Code. So I hope that you have followed my previous tutorial on how to install a Portman desktop on Windows. So once you install it, you should also have a Portman CLI available in your uh, system. So, <clears throat> so you should also have it available in your system. If not, if you don't have it, then you can either also come to your Portman. Then if you click there so you should have this download here once you install this desktop as i show it in my previous tutorial you should have it available or you can simply install uh, portman cli if you don't want uh, uh, the portman desktop which i recommend really so Beside that, let's go to our main topic of today. So if uh, you go here to our um, VS Code terminal and type Portman version, versions then we should have uh, this output here this show indicate that you have portman installed in our system so then we can continue now and then open a folder let's go uh, to our directory uh, not here but if I go here to YouTube video Portman and then I will create a new folder called video 03 and then we open that so once we open that I'm going to close the folder and then I will recommend uh, before we move on installing the portman manager so once you install the portman uh, manager uh, extensions if we type here portman then you will be shown with different versions of tools here um, for this one i would prefer to install this we just click here on install and we install it I think this yeah this is not the official version but somehow this tool is working i use it for now at least for testing purposes and then yeah we'll have uh, our container images tools network and everything shown here so <clears throat> that is it so then we move to our folder now what we have to do now will be to create a uh, some files so i will create you want to deploy a python application with flask so we start with app.py then the next thing will be to create uh, our container file which is equivalent of docker file that we use with docker of course you can use docker but when we use in Portman jargon, this is the naming that is preferred over the Docker file. Both of them works. So you have your own preference. So you can see that is also automatically recognized. Then the next thing will be to also add the requirement dot cx file for our projects. Then on that one is there. So here we are, I'm going to just 
add some plus some why don't quote here no need to type so we are importing uh, the package here the library then we create the main instantiate uh, our app here then here we add the routes and then dump some write something in the return page in the landing page and here here is the port in which you will be access so once that one is done the next thing that we have to do now will be uh, to come here to this and try to write as shown you before so we import python slim and three dot uh, eleven then we create a work directory we copy our requirement file inside that and then we run pipe install to install uh, the packages that we have in our requirement file then yeah copy uh, the current directory and then cmd python uh, run execute this python uh, python with uh, app dot five as argument to run our applications and here we are going to specify the name of the package that we need it is only flask so for now this demonstration purpose we have only flask so we add flask in so here is our requirement dot txt sorry yeah now it's okay recognize yeah it's txt not tx so once that one is done now we need we move to the most important part so here we go again here and then the first thing that we need to do now will be to initialize our virtual machine so our portman machines check if um so if you already created the two things uh, from my previous tutorial you may have already created your virtual machines your sorry your portman machines is working so on that one is working you'll be able to see some stuff here so if we go and write portman machine in it here we can see that portman uh, portman machine default is virtual machine is already there exists because we created it when we were installing uh, our uh, portman desktop on windows so the next thing that we have to do now is to just start it so if it's successful we'll be able to see the content of our uh, virtual machines here And then we refresh it. Bam, you can see that this is the content. Currently, now we have uh, two containers, and this is what I have now currently in my virtual machine. So, mostly from the previous applications that I created. And then we can see that the Docker here is not recognized. So, that's why I prefer to use uh, this Portman manager. Then um, the next one that thing that we have to do so we have to build we have to build our image by writing portman build t and then here we enter uh, the name of our image so we want to call it flask app uh, 02 right and then we put dot here then we can see that everything is been executed downloading dependencies and everything yeah 
so here our image is successfully created so we should be able if you refresh here we should be able to see the new image here so here is our new image then now we need to run the container in order to run the container now So we need to run the container, I will just clean my terminal here to make it clear and then now we have to run our container. So portman run d minus p then 500, 5000 internal, 500 external then flask zero to right uh, oh sorry what have I done here it is minus here it is minus and then bam so successful now we should have three containers now so we can see that our new containers here is here and then it is running so if we go back now here and try to type um, local host 5000 bam you can see that hello it is running here so here is our applications running this is what we have just done now and then yeah that is interesting what we have achieved now we have built our image and then we have run our containers and then we can try to check the list of containers running so ps PS here we have one which is running and then we will like one thing that we can do now is to check uh, to copy this one right and see the lock so I copy the container ID and if we type portman locks and the ID what do we have here so we have uh, we are serving plus up here and then it is running on this port here <coughs> locally here and the network address is this one we have different information that we can have here so then if you want to stop it the container if you want to stop the container same thing we are going to type stop type the id and here it is green when we stop it it should go red bam it is should be successful now can see that bam it is right here so our container has been stopped uh, successfully we can also remove it if we want by typing here rm and the id so if we type that one so successful this gallant vlan should get disappear from here so we have only two container after uh, so you can see it's refreshed it's removed now so what we want to do now is to list uh, our images so again we clear the terminal and then portman images here uh, here is what we have so I will take again this image ID and then now what we want to do now is to uh, 
delete this image that we have here. So the same thing, we are going to get both man. Instead of R M, we also add I for the image, and then we type the ID. So it is on tag, and then it's removed successfully. If we refresh again, so this image here should also disappear. So congratulations. So here we just make some stuff now. We have just um, started our VS code and then we have started the virtual machines containing the Portman. And then we have created some code, our projects for the Flask applications. We have built the image. We have run our container, we have stopped uh, the container, we removed the container, we stopped, we removed also the image and clean everything and also to have access the log. So I hope that this has been useful to you. These are some of the basic uh, command that we use, we need in Portman for our daily operation, basic operations with containers. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Bye.